hands to give it down. Still using this stuff, powder stuff. Bought it like a year ago. In case anyone happens to give it down. What's up, guys? Liam here. Welcome back to Alice JTV. Today we have something a little bit different. We are heading into town to meet a friend of mine. I'll let him introduce himself in about 30 seconds time in this video, in about 30 minutes time in real life. We're going to a DJ studio. We're gonna be filming some content. I've actually never been to this place that we're going to. Uh, it's a place in Birmingham, in Digbeth. Um, it's like a little kind of area of Birmingham. A mate of mine that you've seen on our channel a few times, you know Jake, uh, he was with me on the April 12th video when the gyms first reopened and stuff, that's Jake. He goes there quite a lot with his friends, so I'm excited to go and experience it for myself. And this, uh, this friend of mine, you might have heard of him before. If you watch TV, listen to the radio, you just might know this guy. If you are excited, drop this video a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. And let's do this. I've been using this bag for the longest time and it's had the freaking label on it the entire time. I haven't got time to cut it off, I'm gonna be late. So, into public we go. We have made it, ladies and gentlemen. We are down at Pirate Studios, Digbeth, Birmingham. I'm here with the boy. You might recognise his face if you've seen TV, radio, all that kind of stuff. Introduce yourself. Hi guys, my name is Badalia, and I'm absolutely buzzing to be today at Pirate Studios with Liam, shooting some amazing content for Instagram, for promoting, promoting gigs. Really, really excited to be here. About myself, I am a DJ. I'm also a doctor and I play dance music. I work in a hospital, I'm a junior doctor. And over the last 12 months is when I've really kind of come into the focus of the media and the public. Like Liam mentioned before, I've been doing a lot of DJ sets on Instagram, live streams, collaborations. Luckily gone viral a couple of times. Been on TV like Good Morning Britain, BBC Breakfast. And now I'm just planning ahead for a summer that I'm, I'm so excited to, to be part of. Festivals, stadium events and clubs. So yeah, we'll take you inside. Before we go inside, one more thing. I've got one more thing to plug for you. Oh yeah. Right? So tell everyone a little bit about your, your kind of online story because you have something that's pretty unique, right? That these guys may not have heard of. So if, for those Fine. that haven't heard, yeah, just give yeah. them a quick kind of explanation. So combining being a doctor and a DJ, I launched something called NH Sessions. So NHS Sessions, combine it together, NH Sessions, sounds cool. Basically doing DJ sets in my scrub, in my scrubs, in my kitchen. I did it just for fun. The response was absolutely insane. It's just taken off over the last kicking year. It off, kicking it off, kicking it off, next level. Let's go, let's go. Pump it up to the next, let's go. I know, you know, we know. Pump it up to the next, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Pump it up to the next, let's go. I know, you know, we know. Pump it up to the next level, let's go. Just wrapping up a one hour session with Liam. Being rehearsing today, trying out some new tunes ready for summer, for festival season, and Ibiza if it happens. Got some huge, huge stadium gigs lined up, so I'm absolutely buzzing to play these tracks out. Just finished filming and shooting some content with Liam as well, so you can expect to see some of this on some big channels, which I'm really excited about. Are you allowed to plug any of them? I can't plug any of them yet, actually. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. You're not I, allowed to say a thing? No, I've got a series of televised stadium events going out for the BBC and Sky, which I'll be announcing actually in about 10 days time. So okay, not, not okay. long. So by the time they see this video, that will probably only be about four, three, four days, because this will probably be, I've got a backlog at the minute, so this will, oh, about, this will go live in about a week. Yeah. yeah. So, in about three or four days, I'll stick your links in the description box and all that kind of stuff anyway. Yeah. So just follow uh, follow on through the description box and um, see for yourself. Another studio. Right, so I've never been here before. Have you, have you been here before? I've never been here, first time. First time yeah, for the both of us. Exploring myself. I have seen photos and videos of this place before, but I've never actually been here myself. No, I'm really impressed. But yeah, I'm really impressed so far, to be fair. When we first walked in, some more, oh my God, there's like 20 rooms. Hold on. I think there's more than that. Yeah. It's just, it's like an amazing thing to have for creatives. I think Digba's pretty good for things like that. Yeah. Just, like, if you just want to wander around the streets, you can have, get like a really good photo, like photo of the, uh, like graffiti and all yeah, that exactly, kind of stuff. Yeah. Birmingham is on the up, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's massively underrated. If you, ignore the, <laughs> if you ignore the accent. 
kicking up like na 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 So, ladies and gentlemen, on with the day and on with the video. I promise you guys some food. We've got plenty of food in here. We have the latest meats order that has come in. This will last a good six weeks, is uh, my honest expectation. Oh, don't mind that, it's just LSA at checkout, you know. So what we have inside here is some beef, some chicken, some beef, some chicken, some more beef, and some more chicken. Start off with some steaks. We have two lots there. I think you get like a bundle, right? And this is the kind of the food that I'm eating on a daily basis at the minute. So I'm eating uh, a lot of chicken, lots of steak, um, you know, things like meatballs. We've got some pork in here as well. I think we've got some gammon, which maybe we'll have um, as like a treat on a Friday night or something like that. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much the same, right? So I eat very similar foods every single day. It doesn't really matter what day it is. I'm not too fussy uh, when it comes to food, which is a massive change from when I was uh, a little kid. I actually used to go on holiday, right? And my old man will be watching this and laughing because he'll know what I'm talking about. And I've never spoken about this in public. I actually, well, I've told a couple of people. <laughs> um, I used to go on holiday and uh, we used to be in these nice fancy restaurants and they would have spaghetti bolognese on the menu. Um, I was very, very picky, a very picky eater as a kid. And so we used to go, let's, let's say we're in like the Caribbean or something, there's some fancy Caribbean restaurant or, or whatever, like some restaurant. And we would just say, you know, spaghetti bolognese. Um, can, we, can we get the spaghetti bolognese, please? Yeah, yeah, just like a, a kid-sized portion um, and no bolognese, just the spaghetti. Oh, and ketchup. Heinz, tomato ketchup. And uh, that would be about all I would eat. I would have like a pizza. I wouldn't even have pizza, you know. I wasn't keen on tomato. You don't care. Anyway, funny story as a kid. Just let me know in the comments, Dad, if you, uh, if you remember that. Of course you do. Probably scarred for life by my idiotic behavior. Uh, yeah, there's those gammon steaks that I was just talking about. We've got some turkey breast. We've got the pizza chicken, which I love. Um, that is a definite treat. You literally put this stuff inside and it's like a kind of, just lots of nice seasoning. That's how I can explain that. I can't even, I can't think of the word. There's one word that comes to mind. We've got lots of beef, we've got some diced beef here, uh, some bacon medallions, uh, more pork, more beef and, Oh, a couple more bits. Okay, more bacon. And 2.5 kilos and five kilos of chicken. And this here, ladies and gentlemen, will keep us going for a good few weeks because we will kind of space this out, maybe have some steaks tonight uh, or the gammon tonight. Um, maybe the gammon, gammon and like some egg. We've got some eggs that need to, that, that need to get gone. So um, that maybe some chips or something, you know, a little bit of a, a cheat meal that's not a cheat meal, just don't have too many chips. You know, you can enjoy these things, they're just a little bit higher in fat, but anyway, we've got some pork, all that kind of crap. Yeah, that's, that's what we got, and that's what I'll be eating. Oh, it's so good. That's what I'll be eating on a daily basis. In terms of um, the carb sources, I'll mostly have uh, rice or pasta, but mostly rice because I kind of, I, I like cooking. I, li I, I quite like cooking, so I can quite happily stand here, you know, and make my dinner sort of thing. I can have the steak on and prep the rice and all that kind of stuff. Um, I quite like cooking. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but um, yeah, I, I definitely do enjoy kind of taking the time to, to cook a nice meal. Um, so cooking stuff like this on a daily basis is not really that much of a chore for me. It might be for you, in which case you might want to cook a kilo of chicken for a week and, and store it in a tub in the fridge. Um, but for me personally, I'll quite happily make my lunch and my dinner fresh, uh, especially being self-employed, I can take the time to do that um, and just work my own hours and kind of work until three o'clock in the morning to kind of make up for any hours that I've lost during the day. But um, that's what we're gonna be eating over the next kind of few weeks. I'll show you guys some of the meals and have a full day of eating coming in the very near future as well. Uh, plenty of content coming your way guys because 
we actually have Ryan Terry hopefully soon on the channel. We're gonna have Dorian Yates again on the channel. We're gonna have more with Sai on the channel. We're gonna have more with my protein um, and hopefully much, much more to come. I'm really, really excited for this next few weeks of content um, because there's a lot of exciting things coming, a lot of exciting things happening with me personally uh, and with the business and everything. Uh, behind the scenes of shoots and all that kind of stuff. It's gonna be really, really cool. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing and uh, drop the video a like if you have enjoyed it because we're gonna call it a day there. I think that was a pretty damn good video, don't you think? Maybe, kind of, not really. I just showed you my food. If you're still watching right now, I really, I really, really appreciate the support because I would not be sat here or stood here in this flat right now filming this video, talking to you guys with this My Protein Shaker where you can get LSJ at checkout without that support, you know? Also, this, this is coming very, very soon. Impact Week, blue raspberry flavor. This will be exclusive to Impact Week, which starts in probably just a couple days from the time when you see this video. So, it might already be live. Stay tuned on my Instagram at LSJ underscore fitness. If you have enjoyed today's video, guys, do me a massive favor, drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Thank you all so much for your support. It, um, it really does mean a lot because I get to do all this cool stuff like film this um, because of your guys' support. It literally, like, it literally is that deep and I feel like people that are in that position don't say thank you to the people that support them um, enough. So thank you guys, I really, really appreciate it. Together we will grow. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz help for the algorithm. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you want to see next in the comment section down below, whether it's training, whether it's food, anything like that, just let me know. But I'm rambling now, so I'm off. I'm gonna put some of this in the fridge, some of this in the freezer, and that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Let's go, let's go. Pump it up to the next, let's go. I know, you know, we know. Pump it up to the next, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Pump it up to the next, let's go. I know, you know, we know. Pump it up to the next level, let's go.